Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will discuss about Arduino and Raspberry Pi. The Arduino and Raspberry Pi platforms have grown in popularity among those just getting started with electronics and making real-time projects. Watch the video till the end, we will look at in-depth comparison between them. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon. So you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is Arduino? Arduino is an open source electronic gadget that treats input such as light on a sensor, a finger on a button, or a tweet, and generates output based on those inputs such as turning on an LED or activating a motor. Arduino was created at a design institute as a simple tool for students with no prior experience with electronics or programming. Arduino boards are microcontrollers, not entire computers with operating system of their own like the Raspberry Pi. Arduino just runs C or C++ code that is stored in the firmware. The Arduino IDE is free software that allows you to create and upload code on an Arduino board. Why Arduino? Arduino has been used in millions of projects and applications due to its simple and accessible user interface. The Arduino software is simple to use for beginners, but it is customizable for advanced users. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux systems. Arduino is a valuable tool for learning new skills. Anyone including youngsters, amateurs, artists, and programmers can begin tinkering by simply following the step-by-step -step instructions. It can be used by teachers and students to create low-cost scientific equipments to demonstrate chemistry and physics principles and to begin learning programming and robotics. Designers and architects create interactive prototypes, while musicians and artists create installations and try out new instruments. Features of Arduino Arduino has microcontroller of Atmega328 and the operating voltage is 5 volts whereas the input voltage is recommended to be from 7 to 12 volts and input voltage limits from 6 to 20 volts. We have digital input output pins, that is we have 14 pins and we have analog input 6 pins and we have DC current per input output pin 40 milliampere and DC current for 3.3 .3 volt pin is 50 milliamperes and we have flash memory of 32 kilobytes and we have SRAM of 2 KB and EEP ROM of 1 KB and we have clock speed of 16 megahertz. Now let us look at the different types of Arduino boards present. Firstly we have Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno includes everything you will need to get started. It has 14 digital input output pins, 6 analog input, a USB port, a power jack and a reset button. Among other features, it comes with everything you will need to get started with the microcontroller. Plug into a computer with USB cable or power it with an AC to DC adapter or battery. Next we have LilyPad Arduino. LilyPad is wearable e-textile device created by Li and designed in collaboration with SparkFun. Each LilyPad was cleverly constructed with large connection pads and a flat back to sew conductive thread into garments. In addition, the LilyPad features its own set of input, output, power and sensor boards designed exclusively for e-textiles and can even be washed. Arduino Mega The Arduino Mega is the larger brother of Arduino Uno. It contains many digital input-output pins, that is 54, and 16 analog inputs, a USB connection, a power jack and a reset button. It comes with everything you will need to get started with microcontroller. 
plug it into a computer with USB cable or power it with the AC to DC adapter or a battery. Redboard Arduino The Arduino IDE can program the Redboard over the use of Mini B connector. It will run on Windows 8 without requiring changes to your security settings. Because of the USB chip we used, it's more sturdy and it's fully flat on the back making it easier to integrate into your projects. And we have Arduino Leonardo. The Leonardo is Arduino's initial development board with a single microcontroller and USB port. As a result, it may be less expensive and easier. Additionally, because the board handles USB directly, board libraries are available that allow the board to imitate a computer keyboard, mouse and other components. Now let us look at the advantages of Arduino. In comparison to the other microcontroller system, Arduino boards are comparatively affordable. The Arduino's module, its cheapest version can be assembled by hand and even pre-made Arduino module cost less than $50. For Windows, Macintosh OS X and Linux, the Arduino software IDE is provided. The vast majority of microcontroller systems are Windows only compatible. The Arduino software is simple for beginners, but it's also flexible enough for advanced users. For experienced programmers, the Arduino software is available as an open source tool to extend. People who want to learn more about the language can use C++ libraries and those who want to learn more about technical specifics can switch from Arduino to AVRC programming language. The Arduino is an open source and has hardware that can be expanded. The Arduino board blueprints are made available under Creative Commons license, allowing experienced circuits designers to create their module version, extending and upgrading it. At last, we will look at the disadvantages of Arduino. Arduino cannot run multiple programs at a time. No memory safety checks. Expensive for CPU power and memory. It has lack of built-in communications. Lack of built-in peripherals. The limited number of programming languages. And a limited number of IDEs. The Raspberry Pi is a small, low-cost computer the size of a credit card that connects to a computer monitor or television and utilizes a conventional keyboard and mouse. Raspberry Pi can do everything a desktop computer does, including accessing the internet. Using Raspberry Pi, we can watch high-definition videos, access spreadsheets, word processing, and play games. The Raspberry Pi can communicate with the outside world and has been used in variety of digital maker projects. Raspberry Pi is also used in music machines and parent detectors, as well as weather stations and tweeting bird houses with infrared cameras. Raspberry Pi use cases Raspberry Pi is used in computer desktop. A simple desktop can be built using a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card and a power source, an HDMI cable and a suitable display, such as an old monitor are also required. You will also need a USB keyboard and a mouse. Robotics controller there are numerous Raspberry Pi robot controller projects. A specific robotics package for Pi is available, which is powered by the device battery and can be used to interface with and control robots. Printing using a Raspberry Pi. With the Raspberry Pi, we can print anything. All we need is Raspberry Pi that's connected to your home network, as well as some print server software. This is accomplished by First installing the Samba file sharing program then CUPS. CUPS stands for Common Unix Printing System. Includes printer drivers as well as management console. Game Server The basic operating system for Raspberry Pi has a special version of Minicraft game pre-installed. The Raspberry Pi applications can be used as a game server. It's fantastic Minicraft game server. A wonderful gaming experience can be created by using many Raspberry Pi. Game Machine 
As a retro gaming machine, the Raspberry Pi is perfect. It is one of the machine's lightest components. The Raspberry Pi Zero in particular is a variant that can fit into small locations and be used for gaming projects. The Raspberry Pi may also be used to restore many popular 16-bit game systems. Now let us look at the types of Raspberry Pi. The different types of Raspberry Pi are Raspberry Pi Model B, Raspberry Pi Model A, Raspberry Pi Model B+, Raspberry Pi Model A+, Raspberry Pi Zero, Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, and Raspberry Pi Zero W. The different applications of Raspberry Pi are, it is used as media streamer, tablet computer, internet radio, home automation, robotics command, arcade devices, cosmic computer, and different Raspberry Pi projects. Now let us look at the advantages of Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is about the size of a credit card. The Raspberry Pi is inexpensive. Using Raspberry Pi to function as a server is more efficient than using a regular server. The Raspberry Pi is ideal for adaptive technology because it can display visuals as well as play movies. The microcomputer can be used by small businesses on a tight budget to use their product or build new technology that integrates the product. Now let us look at the disadvantages of Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is not a computer replacement and the processor is not as fast. Downloading and installing software takes time. So you won't be able to do any intricate multitasking. Other operating systems such as Windows are incompatible. This product will not be beneficial for large scale businesses that already have large servers which can perform all the tasks that Raspberry Pi can. As a result, it would not be worth it and putting everything together, it would take time. So with that, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.